good morning class 6 today we will be continuing with the same chapter and in this video we are going to talk about elements of q basic so before starting the video i would like to do some revisions from the previous videos in our previous videos what we have already done is we learned what do you mean by uh, programming language we also learned what is basic what is q basic how to start a program how to create a program how to save a program right so in this video we are going to learn elements of q basic so in this lesson we are going to talk about character set constant and variables so what do you mean by elements elements help in constructing the program it is one of the most uh, important ingredient or an important part of any programming language so elements help in making the program okay our first element is character sets so what are character sets character sets are numbers alphabets and special characters that are used in q basic like for example number one is alphabetical letters from capital a to z and small a to z are used and numbers from 0 to 9 are used and this type of special characters are used as character set another element is constant so constants are data or values that cannot be changed during program execution okay so these are data and values that cannot be changed during program or when the program has already started so constant can be of two types number one is numeric constants so this can be positive negative and even have decimal points okay this can be a positive number negative number or also have decimal numbers so these are mainly used for mathematical problems or operations another constant is string constant also known as alphanumeric constants so these are letter words or combinations of letters with special characters okay these are known as alphanumeric constants and it has a combination of letters letters with special characters and with string constant mathematical operations cannot be performed another element is variables a variable is a place in the computer memory which has a name and stores data temporarily simply you can say a variable is an entity that stores data needed to be used in the program so what this means is a variable is a house in the computer memory where all the data and informations of the programs are stored so this is known as variable a value of a variable can be changed during the execution of the programs okay the values can be changed so there are two types of variables number one is numeric variables and another one is string variables so numeric variable means this stores numeric data this can be numbers and letters so this always starts with so this always starts with a letter and does not contain any special characters and symbol so another one is string variable this stores a string of character which always ends with a dollar sign so string variable means it always contains a set of characters which always ends with dollar sign rules for naming variables so both numeric and string variable must always begin with letters okay whatever is the variable it should always begin with an alphabet so variables can contain numbers but it should never start with numbers so another one is variable name must not have any space and special characters so variable must not have any space between it and it should not have any special characters 